everybody so here in this video what we're gonna do is we have one date variable and we're gonna play around this why is that important uh, it, this is important because whenever you are doing a, some sort of time series analysis into that you usually require uh, you know to do multiple kind of manipulations around the date time so that's why here we are just going to do that first and then uh, you know you will be in very well position to start with your time series analysis so let's start to have let's start with having a look on this data all right before we start let me just give you a quick view what all we will be covering over here we will see how to separate date month year our minute and all these things from this date column which has date and time value stored into it then we will also see how we can find the difference between two dates in terms of days and months and years and at the end in the last segment we will see how can you add number of days to a date number of months years to a date and how can you find the last date or beginning date of a month after n number of years months or days all right so without wasting time let's start with the exploring the data so here we have our data first of all let's have a look how what what are the data types that we have over here so for that if you see over here here it says trend date is object so this is an object variable means this is not date time variable so in that case uh, it will be difficult to perform the uh, activities whatever you want to do on a date time variable right for example you know calculating the difference between data and all those things so first thing which we require to do is convert this format convert its format right so i'm going to keep the variable name same and how can you format that to format that simply uh, pandas provides your function which is called you know to date time right so here is what we get to date time right pt dot to date time and inside that you can just put your variable which you want to convert right over here right and now if you see info so here is what you get you see now the date time uh th this particular column has been converted from object to date time all right so we are done with this now next thing which we're gonna do is let's try to have a look on the sample observations now that you if you see the values are looking same because like previously it was stored as a string now we have just changed the data data type so the value will will keep on looking same but uh, the type is changed all right now let's just start with the, uh, this particular point the first point where we need to fetch date month year hour minute or something like that right so first of all uh, i'm just going to separate date out of it and time date and time i'm going to put in separate column okay so for example let's say i want to say date only and here what i'll do is my data frame name is D df then the variable name is trend date and on that i need to call this particular function which is dt and then in this if you see there is one function which is called date and that is available right over here all right now if you see over here here we got date only create all right so uh now here we have the date in the format uh, in a separate column right next thing which we're gonna do is we will separate we will have try to separate time also over here right so i'm just going to say time only over here and i will call the same function df dot this is my column name right df is data frame trend date is my column name and then over here i'm going to say dt dot and here the function which i want to call is time okay now here we got this right next thing which we need to do is fetch the month out of it right so let's call it month equals to df dot trend date trend date dot month you just say this let me just see if we have this okay so dt i was missing <laughs> all right here we go oops this spelling error month all right so here you see month you have in this format in terms of numbers now if you want to have their name that you can also do so for that what we can say is month name and over here also you have month name function right and for that you just need to do this all right so here we got that march july january etc 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 okay now month we got next thing which we're gonna do is let's 
take out date out of it okay means days so here i'm just going to say df dot trend date dot dt and then i'm just going to say day here you got the days all right now if we want to have the day name let's say let's try to check that let's say weekdays week days all right when i say weekday that doesn't mean it will not show you the weekends it will have the weekends also so here i'm just going to say day of week right or well, let's just try day name over here here we have the day name what is it that we're gonna get into it yes weekdays into weekdays we can just use the day name and this will give us the data so here it says september <coughs> sorry uh, 9th of march 2022 was wednesday let's just check it out all right let's just see if this is correct or not march month we're gonna go into the march and let's go on yeah it is correct you see 9th march is wednesday perfect we are going good now here we got days and month next thing which we need to do is separate is year all right over here so i'm just going to say df dot trend date again dot dt dot year and here we got the year also separated sounds good isn't it now here we have all the things in the separate same way if we want to separate hours and minutes and all those things let's just do this df dot trandate trandate dot dt dot hour oops the spelling error here you see the r is also separated same way you can separate minutes and seconds also so that's that's the task on you try to separate minutes and seconds out of the given date variable next thing which i'm going to do over here is let's say if you want to store current date into a variable how can you do that let's let me just try doing that current date so for that you're gonna say tf dot date right dot dt uh not really this not uh we would require to say pd dot timestamp here is what we got right timestamp and then into this you got a you get a function which is today you see over here this one today now when you do this here is what we got you see current date and this was the transaction date now in the next thing which we're gonna see is we will see we will try to find the difference between days so that's why i created this variable we will see how we can find the difference between this date and this date see you in the next